Welcome to Sewing and More with Joanne. Today I'm going to show you how to make this little hanging bathroom towel. I've shown you in the past how to make a kitchen towel and this is really no different. Um, this time I'm using a button instead of a snap and the design is a little different. Um, I came up with a really easy way for you to make a template for it and um, it's quick probably a uh, half hour project um, and what I've done is I have uh, I've made it reversible that was an accident and uh, when you watch you'll see how that all transpired but it, it turned out to be a pretty darn nice little project and it looks really nice uh, when it's all finished and hanging up so keep on watching and I'll show you how to do it okay this project is super simple for your template all you're going to need is a sheet of paper and you're going to take and fold it in half and then you're um, going to bring two sides down and you want to get this uh, nice and even so just make sure I'll show you here as soon as I get it folded what I am trying to I'm trying to get a point there in the middle but I'm trying to make these two edges match up evenly that way you know that um, you're cutting it evenly if you don't have a perfect point at the top that is okay as long as it's close that's all that matters because when you sew it um, you will get it um, you'll have you'll have a perfect point so what you're going to do is um, take and open this back up and you're going to cut off these two pieces you just folded over. Yes, I know, I'm cutting paper with my scissors. Uh, not, not the greatest thing to do, but... Yeah. Okay. Here's our template. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now I already cut the fabric out just to get a little bit ahead of the game. This is the fabric that's uh, going to be on top and I wanted to have this butterfly in the center. I have actually a um, prototype I made that I will show you. I think I, there we go, I wanted to have the um, butterfly sitting in the center so what I did is I, when I cut my first piece of fabric, I cut it from the back, I laid the fabric out, I put the template on there, just as so, let's try to straighten this up for you a little, just as so, and then what I did is I went ahead and brought that fold down and I could kind of see where the uh, butterfly was going to sit. And if you have a fabric that has anything similar, you can do the same thing. And um, the other piece I cut, you know, you're going to need two pieces. I just cut. I didn't really worry too much about it because you're not going to see this piece. It'll be on the inside. So from there, what you want to do is you want to take these, lay them right sides together and you want to take them to the sewing machine oh geez I, I skipped a step I'm really really sorry you want to press a nice little I'd say half inch line um, along the bottom this is important um, it will have a big effect on your how your finished product looks for these purposes right at the moment I am just going to finger press these and um, actually you know what I might just do um, you want them in sorry uh, you want them folded towards the the uh, wrong side I actually have this little tool I just got let's see how it works I uh, broke down and bought myself one of those little buggers uh, I keep seeing and everybody use them and I will tell you they uh, they work 
um, they really do work. Um, it's not quite as good as uh, when something is ironed, but they are effective. Um, this is actually going to be plenty enough of a press to sew these together. So right sides together and what you'll want to do is you want to make sure that you did um, get those even the the amount that you folded that whether you do it a half an inch or even a little more you just want to make sure it's the same so that when you sew these together they um, are still they are the same and it's very important to start you want to, you when you sew this together make sure these are even that's um that's pretty important so I'm going to take this to the uh, sewing machine and I'm going to sew this down really quick. Um, I'm not going to show you that part, but I am going to show you the when I put the buttonhole in. Okay. We're all sewn together. Now we are going to turn this right sides out. And I always use a chopstick or something on the lines of that to poke out my points. Because with this, you it's it's kind of important you want a nice you want nice points. Um, sometimes they're a little hard to find. Okay, here's this one. All right, and then. I like to go like so and rub these um, seams because that g it gives it more square um, finish. All right. Now, we uh, normally I would just take this over and give it a nice press, maybe even a little bit of steam. Let's see how that uh, butterfly came out. Look at that. Not too shabby, huh? That looks pretty good. So now all we're going to do is throw that over there. We're going to take our hand towel. I have it folded in half and I'm going to, all I'm going to do is make sure it's folded good, nice and straight. I'm going to cut this bugger right in half just like so. Now, there's two ways we can do this. This is completely up to you and the appearance that you would like to have for your towel. The way I did mine is I, I just made tucks like so. I hope you can see this, but yeah. Bring the pins over. I just made some, I, I brought the edge under for the first one basically, pinned. I think I went, yeah, I went out on all of them. And I I just pinned these little tucks in. And I, I kind of went from each side and uh, estimated that they were, uh, you know, generally about the same size each. And, um, Give these a good pin. It doesn't matter if they're absolutely perfect. You're gonna when you tuck this up into there, um, you'll get it laying just the way you want it. Originally, I went and I went to the sewing machine and I, I sewed this um, to get. I, I sewed it first and then I sewed it, but I really don't see the necessity in that. Um, you really have the same exact um, thing happen in the end. All you're going to do is pull these pins out as you go. Just be careful. So let's put one last tuck going this way. 
and don't put your pins so high that you can't pull them out when the time comes um, and I will show you what I'm talking about so there's what we have there you know what I forgot to do I forgot to I forgot to put the buttonhole in let's go do that really quick now I'm not gonna set up lighting uh, so you might not be able to see it as well but I do want to show you how I put a button on just super quick and easy so bear with me okay do not be intimidated by buttonholers these things are so simple um, let me show you what I've done here all you do is you pop your button in the back here there's a little slide if the button's smaller this is about as big of a button as this one will hold and you put it on like a regular presser foot all right there's a little slide arm on most machines that kind of go behind um, the oh did my button no I thought my button fell out that goes ah uh, I guess behind yes behind I was doubting myself there for a minute um, and uh, that's pretty much it you select a buttonhole let's find a good one here most machines only have a couple I got I'm lucky I've got I've got a few so there's you line up with the green lines here that's going to be the center area of wherever your buttonhole is and we're going to kind of run this right on the bottom of that butterfly and um, let's go for it well I lined it up a little bit higher it's going to go into my butterfly but that's okay it's as easy as that now I'm gonna go ahead since we're right here and grab the towel and we're gonna go ahead and put that towel on because we can do all the other steps afterward with the better light so let me go grab that towel and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna put that sucker on there okay I think you can see somewhat let's get our button out of the way all we're gonna do is take this don't poke yourself with the pins and we're gonna tuck it up in there just a little ways about oh an inch or so how about just about uh, how, however far you put your pins in there so that you can pull your pins out and in all honesty if it's something that alarms you uh, you can pull your pins out now because you have pretty much now that this is in here it's set and um, that way also you can manipulate this a little bit if you want to we'll just pull the first few out and get started and then and then we'll go from there but I've, I'd say I've got it in there a good inch Oops, let's put those pins somewhere else. And um, make sure you take the uh, sewing machine off the uh, buttonhole. And I'm just going to give this, I'm going to have about a half an inch of um, a uh, space above the bottom here where I'm going to sew. I'm just going to use a straight stitch. Oops, I didn't plug my presser foot back in. Okay. And we're going to go nice and slow. And we want a back stitch. There is quite a few layers here, so that's why I'm going to definitely just take it nice and slow. That way uh, 
we're sure not to have any issues with I've been having thread uh, thread breakage issues so I don't want that to happen so just go nice and slow we're coming up to these needles I mean these pins so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull out a couple pins And uh, straighten that out a little bit. And it feels like I don't have that pushed quite up in as far as the other did. So I'm going to stop and tuck just a little bit. Oh, look at that. Found me a hidden pin. Okay, continuing on. And make sure you backstitch again at the end. Okay, let's go back over to uh, our nice bright light and I'll show you how to finish this off. Here we are back over at the sewing table and I have just put this together. This is the back and you can see where I folded those two little corners kind of around. I think it gives it a better look to lay down. And here's, um, you know what I just uh, realized? I, I, I did this backwards. I put my butterfly on the back. But that's okay. We're going to go with it. I'm going to go ahead and put the button on this side because it really doesn't even look that bad the, uh, this way either. Oh, I can't believe I did that. But that's okay. Anyway, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a seam ripper. And, uh, heck, you know what I could do? I can put a button on each side and hang it either way. It really doesn't matter. But this is, you take the seam ripper and you poke it in right at the bottom of the, bo but, uh, of the buttonhole. And very carefully, just make yourself a little uh, area big enough where you can get your scissors in there. If you want, uh, them scissors are too big and I don't have my other ones right close. You can go the whole way with the with the seam ripper, but it's um, it's a dangerous game. Because if you're not careful, you'll... You'll rip right past that sucker. So um, I tell you to do that at your own risk. I've done it more than once. Um, and it will really upset you if you do that. So just be careful if you, uh, if you do that. Okay. So I'm just right now just trimming out the little strings left. Um, between the the fabric and the buttonhole and we've got those all out of there and now what we're going to do is sew on our button and I like to I like the the point to come down a little further beyond the top of the towel so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my center and I'm going to put that button uh, right there at the very bottom so I'm not going to bore you with sewing a button on. And actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a matching button. I'm going to sew right on through and put a button on each side and show you what that will look like. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here it is all finished. And I'm trying to hold the camera very steady to give you a little bit of a look. I'm going to actually go hang it up in the bathroom and show it to you. But let me put this down. And... It, I really think in a way my little mistake turned out pretty good. I like the way it looks. Um, I, th I think it's really cute. And what I did is I went ahead and I put a button on, this, on the other side too in case I changed my mind and um, wanted to hang it that way. Or hey, if it, got a, if it gets a stain on it or something, we can always go that way. But okay, so here it is in the bathroom. I... Uh, don't have the biggest bathroom in the world so I can't get too far back but 
it looks pretty nice and um it it just i don't know i think i i think it's a, a very nice fit i uh will show you <laughs> the reason i chose this color is because i have this clock that i found and i wanted to try to match the towel to the clock and i think that turned out pretty good now i am going to show you how it looks the other way as well now, although it does not have the butterfly, I do believe it hangs a little better with those uh, tucks in the back. So I, I think I'm going to leave it that way for the moment. But it's, it's a nice little towel holder. It looks pretty good. Um, so until next time, and uh, I find something else cool to make for you, I hope you have a great day. Please don't forget to subscribe click the little button down in the corner it helps me out more than you know and uh, feel free to share this with your friends have a great day bye bye